Hello everybody, welcome back to Bleach Brave. So today we have the Sound Your Blood banner for end of month of March of 2024 available which features Sound Your Blood War, uh, Yumichika and uh, who else? <laughs> Yumichika the only one. Uh, Rangiku and uh, Mi uh, Minenas, I think that's her name. Like I know Olivia w w was like reading her name differently. B maybe because she's a friend. It's a French, so maybe that's the reason. But uh, uh, as you probably know, if you watched my earlier video before, like I, I released around three days ago, I'm not interested in this banner. I want one. I want none of them. If they make that meaningless as a power attribute because her character is P for power, the power, then I might want to summon for her because she's a PVP character. PVP stands for like uh, brave battle, right? But things. Can I make her as a hard attribute? I'm not interested because I don't think that considered as canon, right? Even it sounds ridiculous, but uh, that's what I'm saying, right? It's so obvious, but why can I make them make her a hard attribute? We have manyness, so well. And Rangiku, yeah, she is cool. She is very good. I like Rangiku, but uh, the problem is, I don't really need Rangiku like. Um, like for range, I run a Soul Raper, I got a Manga Aizen, Fire Fire with 3 star attack, and also Aizen got a multi barrier boost and the gauge mechanism. So I still consider Manga Aizen has the edge, even he was he's already 3 years old, I think. And then not to mention Imichika, not interested in Imichika, so I want none of them. And the, the other major reason is I don't have really have much more orbs, I only have 531 orbs, but of course I can get more orbs for exchange. So I know everybody probably know already like when end of month banner is released normally means you can you, you can exchange for those orbs right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that now so uh, uh, some more metal of course I don't have enough but metal exchange so first go to others then there is this orbs here so which only cost 200 which makes sense and also there is other but this one costs a lot like cost me 4,000, maybe I just take them because because I have a lot of PvP battle, I mean PvP metal yeah, I might get them as well so because those PvP like metal just like Caleb stopped releasing the new PvP, I mean metal exchange 5 star characters like, so there's not much point to, for collecting them so I just spend them and also there with 5 star tickets and also there with some battle tickets that's all usually what I do uh, usually what I do is like do these things also those tickets and also there is oh, somebody what a play wow welcome to the guild my guild called WAO wow right so also there is some um, others I think like this one can only cost a hundred give you 50 great so so ticket which is very useful and then I don't play arena, so I know arena I'll get nothing. Got 200 points. What I can get from 200 points? Nothing. Maybe we can get some to uh, Not really. Uh, you know what? I might as well. Uh, don't worry. Maybe I, later I'll just accumulate more points so I can exchange for orbs or 5 star ticket. Here. Uh, there. Uh, this is what I usually do when the, when the end, of my, end of month banner is released. I just get all those like summon ticket. Then I, w of course, I spend those points, but I won't like refill the points till the mid month banner is released. Because at the time, by the time mid month banner is released, it should become double points for for Chronicle Crest. Right. I hope like every time when you exchange. They can stay where you are on item list rather than go back to the top like this. Right? This is tedious, but it's okay. So, let me get all of them. Then we get into the summon. So the reason being, I'm collecting those collecting those tickets because every chance I can get some new five star or duke five star. So in that case, I can either get transcend points or increase special movement level. 
and in very rare case I'm able to get the five star character so I get more orbs. In part one there is orbs, I usually get all of them. So now I have like 700 orbs I think. Yeah, 700 orbs now. But still, not much. Get those five tickets here. Did I get a golden ticket? The golden ticket and BBS tickets are the same. The only difference is the golden tickets only give four star or five star. But for, for the rate for summoning a five star character for a golden ticket and a BBS ticket, they're exactly the same. Just for your information. And also, I think there is a raid medal. Uh, I don't know. So, what's uh, there is coins? And then also for coins, there is someone keep it. And where you can get three BBS ticket for here. Don't forget that. Don't worry about silver ticket. Anything else I can get? Nope. Uh, what about uh, great? I mean, the epic right? Okay, so there is a new. Okay, eight hundred. Is that why it's showing you? I don't understand. But got eight hundred eighty-eight is such a non nice number. Maybe I can get some ops over there. Oh, is there a five-star tickets over there as well? I see that. Is that ops there? Yeah, that's I'm here. Oh. 200 and I got a 900 any more orbs I can exchange I would get the five star tickets later and also there is golden tickets maybe I do some epic rate later so but that is what I'm going to do today so epic rates this is the awaken yeah this awaken one so all right so I think I'm, I'm ready so what I'm gonna do is I'm probably only going to do like three steps because I don't really need those characters. I mean, I don't really want those characters. So if Caleb decides to chef me on this banner, ah, it's not called chef if you, you, you didn't get anything from three Maori, right? So only three Maoris, no more. And uh, the rest of them are probably just spending the tickets. And uh, yeah, so they are, the, they are the banner characters. And also for the fellow eyes, I, I really hate Caleb put Sound Yi Yachiru and the, I mean the old Yachiru and the Shinsei over there because those characters, if you don't know, they are resurrectable, which means you can either get from pack or if you already have them, you can upgrade their special move level by doing the special move level quest. So there are no point for, I mean, if you don't have them and you don't want to buy pack, you can get them for here. but. If you have them or maybe you already if you if you have them and all you don't mind to spend money to buy the capture pack usually it's a good very good deal because not only give you the capture but also give you a lot of ops and you should get very good links but if you already have those characters and you're getting those characters for the summon that is dirty because like you don't need them right you don't, you don't play them the old and also you don't need them use them to upgrade your special moon level because you can get your special moon level by special moon level quest even you can only do increase special moon level quest for like level for twice right but still not that much value if the character is already resurrectable and Caleb really shouldn't put those character into the field of pool. that is dirty in my mind right if you don't agree with me that's fine but that's what I think all right uh should we test play before summer uh, my memory she like I, I remember this meaningless her first strong attack and says second strong attack are almost identical and also she inflict uh, confuse that's the first that's strong attack yeah pretty much same thing she doesn't have follow up. You can't do this. 
<laughs> what is this? This put in. Oh, I didn't finish reading. That's too quick. Okay, that's meaningless. Then let's move to the next one, right? It could look serious in this like profile picture. Oh, she got that uh, killer counter. Killer three already. Get ready for opposition. <laughs> And uh, then she got a buff on the damage. It's okay. Alright. Then let's move to Yumichika. Uh, that means we definitely get a sound of your power in Kaku. And his like a special move, Hado, Hado like 57. It's such a low level Hado. Uh, that is Ben Bieter's like a machine gun. Yeah, that is good for. That is a good skill for. For epic, I mean not epic. Yes, for epic raid is good, but also good, very good for a uh, good quest. But the problem is like you can't move, so you kind of need have a barrier at the same time, or maybe have the vortex around you. But since he doesn't have that, so when you apply that second strong attack on this one, you are pretty much like vulnerable to the enemy's attack. So that's a problem. That's pit four for him. Alright, basically I want to knock them, so I didn't get anybody. That's totally fine, so let's get it started. If you want to give me Yubi Chica, you might just don't give me anybody. <laughs> Talking about it sounds like I'm going to get somebody. It's a five star. Oh my god, if I got a bad character, I'm gone. When, when Maori finish? Oh, got Rangiku. Exactly what I want. Easy Rangiku. Easy Rangiku. Shaolong. Oh, by the way, I got Shaolong. I make him 2020. Yeah, he's not very good for all day. And uh, his major flaw is. He has a lot of a lot of full stamina boost damage, but he doesn't have any way to recover his da his stamina. Look at his radical operation, meal, fuel. How do you read that? Uh, fuel, 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 eh? Look at that. Lock her. Rangiku Matsumoto. Rangiku, the lieutenant of score 10, is a uh, uninhibited slacker. Slackers. Exactly what I want. Who passes annoying tasks on to her captain Toshiro. However, she also has a more considerable side. When Toshiro's banker is stolen, she partners up with him to do the battle. Of course, that's her job, right? That's the. Oh, I should remove myself for, for the picture. And uh, to admire the big. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Well, actually, I should say it's a very good summon. I don't know if I should do the second second one. Maybe I should just call it a. Because every time when you get what you want, just get what you want, get what you get, and then run away. So that is what I'm going to do. If you're expecting me to do a lot of Maoris here, sorry, I'm done. I'm not interested in this banner, and especially I don't want a Yumi Chika. And I got a Rangiku, I'm very happy already. See, if I do another summon, it will look like this. So, happy? Uh, what are those boys they're talking about? Um, apart from that, I don't really have much orbs, so I'm more than happy to save my 700 orbs like, for the next mid month banner. Mid month banner, because I feel mid month, mid -month banner is, has a, a, a much better format for summoning because every three steps you get a guaranteed 5 star, and on step 10 you get a guaranteed feature. I mean, I mean the new banner capture, right? So let's look at the five star ticket. See if we can get somebody new. Uh, this five star tickets, I think, it also covers 
which I got for the PvP battle shop. It's also cover the seasonal characters. Hopefully it can be a seasonal one. Uh, Hanataro. Do I have him? Uh, I do have him. Okay. Because at the second I saw it, I don't have him because I'm not familiar with our clothes at all. Nine golden ticket. Last time I got my anniversary Ichigo. I mean the the frenzy plus three Ichigo for the golden ticket, which is very high for me. Mm -mm -mm. And then let's go with the BBS ticket. Hopefully we can get something for thirty four BBS ticket. Hopefully this can be a fake out. Nope, it's a three star Maori. <sighs> No, it's another rip. That's indicate how good my luck is today. Well, this could be a fake out. Yes. Oh, Kisuke, the orange one. The, the flowery barrier. Potion, Kisuke. Alright, so that... Oh, talking about... Talking about the voice actor, I think this guy... What's his name again? Has the same voice actor as Kampachi. Right. What's his name? Can't remember. Ikaku's Bank Bankai. I mean Ikaku's uh, Zampato. Right. So anything else I can do for here? There are no more. There is no free summon anymore, right? So yeah, okay. I, I still got four BBS ticket. I just use them. Down to zero on the ticket. Okay. Right. So let's move into let's move to the accessory summon because I got quite a few accessory ticket for exchange. Uh, not quite a few, but some, 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 something. I got something. Hopefully, I, I won't uh, have a green. I mean, blue chabby, golden chabby. I already have a one. Like I only have one blue. Golden Chevy, but only one. I need another one so I can do one for attack and then one for defense PvP. Or maybe I can. It can give me a blue human like staff, which will give you like fifty percent increase on SP. That would be good as well. Nothing. The last the eight BBS ticket. Well, call it a day. <sighs> One. Yo! Blue golden chabby. Ah, you I got the, I got the color right, but uh, what, what is Yuki? Right. Well I'm getting Yuki. Let's see what's uh, I got 40 stamina 40 percent max stamina as well. That's OP. So that's the video for today. Yeah, if you expecting some huge crazy summon, I'm sorry because I already explained in my earlier video. I'm not interested in this video. In, I'm not interested in this sum in span at all. So I got a Rangiku, the one I, maybe I'm interested the most. Even I'm not interested in all this banner. But if you want me pick one, Rangiku is the one. So I got her already. So there are absolutely no reason for me to keep going. So thank you for coming, and I hope you the best if you summon on this banner. And I see you next time. See you. Bye. Good luck, guys.